Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and welcome to episode 3 of Legendary Perks Tested. Unfortunately, the bad news is there will be episode 4. I wasn't able to finish all the testing yet, even though I was really trying to make episode 3 the last one. Straight after the night shift, after the work, I was sitting at the computer. I wasn't even launching the live game version, just straight into public test server to test those perks, but not done yet. Therefore, there will be one more episode. But now to the point, what we'll have in this episode. First, we are starting with Brawling Chemist. Uh, this perk is very similar to Survival Shortcut in the matter how it generates chems. Although, obviously, the chem have a very different purpose. It's supposed to enhance your combat ability, your melee combat ability. And how well it works? That's a good question and that we'll try to answer. Uh, apart from that, how much it generates is already stated on the card, but important informations are not stated in here. And that's our Super Chem Mark 1. As stated, it increases melee damage by 30%, give you 25 damage reses and 2 strength for 5 minutes. The weight is 0.01, but that's because I have Trawling Pharmacy. It's a chem, therefore the base weight is 0.1. Still very light. And similar to Survival Shortcut, you cannot sell it, you cannot drop it. It's only for your own use, you cannot do anything else with that. Okay, and now how we'll be testing it. Meet my two assistants, Gary and Gary, and hopefully they are both as identical as it is possible. And to confirm first that they are exactly the same, we'll try to smack each of them once with Ghoul Slayer's Assault Trump Raid. And I use a Radex as well to disable my mutations. So this guy it's just a little bit of a damage. Now this guy and one of them is diseased. But apart from that, when I slide my mouse between them, the health bar is exactly identical, then it's mean they are the same. Apart from one of them being diseased, they are exactly the same. They taking the same amount of damage and they probably deal the same amount of damage. And now, let's take a look how much damage are we taking. Okay, how much damage am I taking? Why 34, 127? And it's like 7 damage, 6 to 7 damage per hit. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. 6 to 7 damage mostly per hit. Sometimes a little bit more if they, they double slash me. And less if my emergency protocols are active. Uh, like 6 to 7 damage. Let's see if there will be any difference after using this chem. Oh, before we use the chem, one of them need to be sliced twice with my weapon, otherwise I will not see any difference. Okay, make sure my radex will not expire. As we want to compare damage as well, not only. Oh, did I, I did more damage this time around? Yeah, I somehow got a headshot, that's not good. Now, did I fix it? Yes, I fixed it. Headshot is exactly equal to two regular hits. Okay, they equal again. I don't want a headshot. Okay, maybe let's try to crouch and aim for the legs. Is it headshot again? I was aiming for the legs. Okay, from crouching somehow I'm doing more damage. Okay, now I need to hit this one one more time. Okay, and now we use the chem. A super chem mark one. And now we slice this guy and we'll see how much more or less damage I'm doing. I mean, how much more damage I'm doing. Okay, ready? Okay, and yes, we have more damage. That's a good news. Chem is working for melee damage. I'm doing more damage now. Am I more resistant? And... 
Is it better? Really hard to tell if I'm taking analyze. It's seven, six, seven. It's still six, seven damage. Then resistance-wise, I cannot tell if there is a difference. I mean, if you want, you can try to keep watching that and comparing exactly. But resistance-wise, I cannot tell. Under the effects, a super camp. Oh, I have more than 5 minute duration, that because I have camp fent equipped, that it does work with camp boosting perks, then you can extend it to 10 minutes, it stayed the strength, melee damage, and damage resistance increase, damage resistance increase, it's barely noticeable. Then I would say this camp is like a decent option for melee, although in the same time, it's like not much stronger than fury itself maybe we'll compare like it's 90 here if i like do i have any fury okay let's try fury the fury there is a negative effect to perception and there is no extra strength then let's see how this will compare i have 90 damage and after using the fury it drops to 85 then it's definitely better than fury thanks to this strength and now without any cam like I mean, without, I will just use Mentats to remove my damage bonuses. It's dropped to 74. Then from 74 to 90, that's a significant increase. Although with the new damage firmware, keep in mind, it will be less visible, more bonuses you have already applied. Now let's go into some juicy stuff. We have taking one for the team. I have it maxed out. Enemies take 40% more damage when they attack you if you are on a team that's important requirement you need to be on a team and if you want to know more than i would be able to tell you in this video and to see more of the testing from taking one for the team as well as follow through and interaction when you have both across your teammates then you should see somewhere on the screen in here behind the shell video made by mitzi when we were testing actually those perks together then feel free to click on that if you want to know more. And now, perk equip, we need to actually join a team. And there is no one on the server. Okay, if there is no one on the server, let's see if it's working uh, without any people. I have 44 damage. And after he hits me, still 44 damage. It doesn't work if there is no other person on your team. I need someone to join me. Okay, I convinced someone to join the team. Let me demonstrate this perk now. Okay, now I'm doing 44 damage. And after he hits me... Come on. I'm doing 69 damage. Then you can see there is clear damage increase as I'm being targeted by this ghoul. And this persists as long as this ghoul will be focused on me. And... If I will lose aggro, I will lose this bonus almost instantly after losing the aggro. And other way to lose this bonus is if like, if for whatever reason this ghoul will not be able to hit me for like 5 to 10 seconds, then I will lose this bonus as well. I mean everyone will lose it because it's a debuff on a target. It's not actually my bonus. When those ghouls are hitting me, everyone who will attack them will do more damage basically those ghouls are taking more damage from every source when they attack me it's not only for me it's for everyone and as long as they are focused on me everyone will be getting this extra damage versus those ghouls and that actually seems to be more than 40% advertised on the card, what's actually good. And I'm not able to do like a full testing in here on the team as well, but we are doing that with Mitzi and I can tell you exactly how it works. It's how I know that it works for everyone all the, on the team, this extra bonus damage. Then if you have tank on your team with taking one for the team perk equipped, legendary perk, everyone even that on your team will be doing more damage to those enemies unless they lose the aggro like if you start sneaking and enemies lose you the debuff on enemies is automatically removed as soon as server can register there is slight delay server need to register the debuff 
on the enemy that is attacking you and send this info to all the players around that they supposed to be doing more damage. And very similar to that works follow through. From our testing so far, it does not stack if two people have it because it's a debuff on a target. Therefore, if more than one person is using this perk, it's still a 40% damage increase for 10 seconds on a target that was attacked by someone with this perk that is sneaking. That's important. You need to be in caution all hidden to trigger this follow through perk. But in the same time, it's okay if enemies are aggro to someone else. Therefore, it is possible to use a combo of follow through and taking one for the team. What's even more interesting, and I don't know how it's happening, but even though every single damage bonuses that we have all the pair cards in one wasteland are additive, what means quite weak, those are still multiplicative and even more than that. Like if you have taken one for the team on your tank and someone in your team is using follow through, then damage on the enemies going up by 150%. I don't know why is that. You can see the video that Mitzi made with all this testing and you will see how we figure it out. But important fact is it's 150%. That's crazy damage increase. If one of you is using follow through and one of you is a tank with taking one for the team, especially important for the bosses. Like in case of follow through for everyday farming is not so great because if you are like, for example, commando build, it takes some time, depend on your connection to the server. It can be like split second, sometimes can be a one second or something like that of a delay. Therefore, if you shoot with a commando weapon in this time frame, you will be able to shoot multiple rounds and most likely kill all the enemies. Then this perk will not be able to trigger unless you shoot once, wait a second and then keep shooting. Then it's not so great solo if you just do farming, but it's great even solo versus bosses and even better when you play on the team because unlike a sneak attack bonus, this perk works even if enemies are aggro and it's a debuff on the enemy, what means everyone around you will benefit from that and will be able to do more damage to the enemies that you tag with this debuff. Then both those perks follow through and taking one for the team, one of the most powerful offensive perks. It's way more powerful than any perk, any normal perk that you can have equipped. And if you will have any questions about those two perks that I didn't answer in here, or you cannot find in Mitzi's video any answer for your question, then of course, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will try to share my knowledge if I know the answer, of course. I don't know everything, I need to tell you it. I don't know everything, there's so much stuff to test with all those perks and all those possible interactions between those perks that this is crazy. And we are testing one more perk with Mitzi. Blood Sacrifice. I wasn't able to hide my disappointment, in my opinion, that's the weakest possible perk and I will tell you how it works. As you can see, if you equip it and you die, your teammates will get a little bit of damage resistance. They will probably not even notice unless you are team up with level one players and they will get 70 AP regen, what's equivalent of three bottles of purified water. Then basically, if you max out this perk, you will be able to give away three bottles of purified water to your teammates one per five minutes by dying. And I said once per five minutes intentionally, because even though you will see this perk pop up every time you die, only once per five minutes, your teammates will be able to get those benefits only once per five minutes with max out blood sacrifice. What's good about this perk? It does work across the map. It doesn't matter how far away your teammates are from you. 
they will get the benefit, but it's really barely any benefit. So far it's my candidate for the worst possible legendary perks that we have. And that's what I was able to test so far. In episode 4 I will go over those explosive stuff. All the perks that are doing kaboom and all the perks for melee because it's mainly used for melee and I don't know why we have so many explosive perks. Then now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.